new guy could be pretty easy. I will say that. If everybody watched the video and is ready for it. You know that didn't happen. What are these videos you speak of? Yeah, but I dare to dream, you know? So, uh, I'm looking for a decision. Anybody? As you want to go fucking to Halondris. I don't like decisions. How about we go head our head against the new boss? See how hard it really is. If you kill it, great. But we won't do it for longer than an hour. Two and a half hours. No, an hour. We'll do it for an hour on the new boss. If we don't get it killed by then, we'll switch to Halondris. And we'll go from there. So let's go to the new guy. So go left and teleport to Genesis Cradle Beta. And that way we're doing both and we're not, you know, whatever. But I think we'll kill this guy. That's, I really, I really do. Uh, I really do. No, we just all stay grouped up with the tanks and the mob. And, um, mash keys. I kill the guy. And every so often, some people in the raid are going to get um, a debuff where they have to drop a star. So the trick is, is that they drop it away from the group, but don't, you know, just drop it and then come back and nobody can run over those stars. If they do, they explode and leave a huge patch on the ground and we yell at that guy or girl. Uh, ridicule point, you know, same thing. So basically yeah, it'll be point me. fingers. Yeah, the huge. Um, and then uh, every so often, though, somebody in the raid is going to get a debuff that you know, doesn't need to be decursed. It'll put a big, big white circle around them. And if they get as close to those stars and they put the big circle around them, when it goes off, it does take ticking damage, but it's no big deal, supposedly. Um, when it, but when it goes off, then um, the stars go away. Dun, dun, dun. Green giant. So no. that's part of it. And then the second part of it oh, is oh, oh. he will ch the, the boss will channel onto a single mob and uh oh they're look there we're in the room already fuck all right Th and these mobs on the side that are glowy the boss is going to channel onto a couple of them and the whole raid will agree to shift to one and the one that we should always be doing is see this guy that looks like an elemental he's a real fucker he does a huge knockback huge knockback huge. so huge that he can knock us back into the stars so huge. if we're channeled on oh i guess i should summon everybody else here so they can see what the fuck i'm talking about but these these big guys that look like elementals here on like this guy on the right they gotta die while they're in this phase so w the boss will, in phase two will be channeling i think three of them in this area and uh what the well fuck? this is the boss room so it is. I know. It just surprised me that it was like no, right here. It isn't. But the point is, is that the boss will channel three of these. This is just trash. Okay, but I'm using this as an example. Oh, okay. You mean the <laughs> trash is like the boss? Uh, oh. It's not really what I'm inferring, but anyways, whatever. Fuck it. Point being is, is that these guys have to die over any of the others in phase two. The other ones are easy to deal with. So, long story short, don't stand in the stars. Person with the big white circle, get rid of the stars. While the boss is in phase two, um, make sure that we, the dudes, out of, out of all the dudes that are being channeled, the one that looks like an elemental is the one that we kill, because the other two will pop, and then we'll have to deal with them. One of them is very easy, it's like a tank mob, does some frontal AoE that has to be avoided. You yeah, drop a deuce under your couch. That's unfortunate. Daisy was bad again. No, no, Daisy's fine. She doesn't do that under your couch? No, especially under the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Never know, you might have an elevated couch. Yeah. That's fair. Um, With okay. a ladder. I'm not putting out food now, because fuck it. <clears throat> uh, we're just waiting on ass.
so anyways uh you got the gist of what i was talking about with the boss no oh hey Jury's like Tom Brady. Let's go. Things to kill. Time to do it in. Is this the boss? No. Trash. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so this big guy here, these dragon, this Atoma, supposedly they're a bitch, but. Should we kill it? I'm trying to help the person who's getting one that's dragging around it with him. This got intense all of a sudden, eh? Who's doing that? Generate? Oh, the big guy. Ow. That's the pushback that I'm talking about. Oh, hello. And it disconnects me. Wow, that's a pretty powerful disconnect. Or, or whatever it's called. This room is scary. I don't like it. Oh, shape reality needs to, this guy needs to die. Oh, man. All the way back here. Okay, these are the mobs that we're going to be dealing with in the raid. The ad-wise, okay? So you see that they can fuck us up. These tall guys here, they're nothing much... They do have a frontal that has to be avoided. Okay, and then there's these ads flying in the air we can't do shit about. And the longer that the casters stay up, more of these things are going to be in the air. So, you know, got to get rid of them. I got the Frox. Pardon? So kill shit and don't stand in poop. Yeah. Man, the person who played the synthesizer in this had a lot of fun. So the boss fight is going to have those ads. The, the, as you saw with the elemental, he really fucking does a big kickback. So we got to get rid of him because that kickback will really screw us up. And it literally crashed my game. <laughs> That's the other crazy part about it. Mine just sent me to the room below and it's got scary things in it. <clears throat> and we're indoors now, so that sucks. So he's the guy who decides what to make? Guess he does. Lithium. So, yeah, do you see how there's the ads on the sides here? We got the tank one, the Guardian, the Guardian Atoma. Um, over here on the right, we've got the casters. And then the far one is the Acquisitions Automa, and that's Acquisitions Automa. If it's being targeted, when we go into Phase 2, the whole raid is going to run towards it. you got to stand inside <coughs> of his circle, otherwise you're going to get the shit fucked out of you. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's going to be like, yeah, not a happy time. It'll be a bad time. So we stand inside of the circle as we kill it, otherwise, bad time. Sounds like prison. You would know. Air in my stripes. You would know. I was in a fraternity. <laughs> Uh, food. Uh, fuck it. I'll put one out. Life is short. Eat the food.
you guys want to use flasks? Like, Ben, do you even have flasks ready at all? No, I haven't been uh, gathering. Okay, uh, we're going to have to start manufacturing these again. If you could, please. And then I'll talk to Heather as well. I'm actually surprised she's not here. Yeah, she had them in the last couple raids. She'll be here in a few minutes, she said. I think I have enough for one. All right, so I guess it's personal flasks tonight, and um, thanks, Plague. And thanks to Plague Rat, we got food for the night, because I was dumb and didn't. Yada, yada. It's better one person has them, too, so nobody puts down and you waste a feast. Exactly. That's, that shit's horrible. You got enough for a cauldron? Do I just want to get start a cauldron now then? Because everybody's here. Might as well. It would put our best foot forward. So yeah, if you don't mind, uh, Daiko, could you throw down a cauldron? And I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah, if uh, you need help with like mats and shit, just ask. Or just grab them out of the guild bank. You should have access. Everybody make sure to get a flask um, as looking at you. Five, okay, so four, remember, stay grouped. Three, two, one. And we'll drop the uh, the shits off. Um, fuck it. I'll try to here. Purple. Purple. So if you get the thing, go to purple. There you go. These unstable modes have got to be dropped. We'll go over to purple. There, see, now they're over here and they're away from the group. Don't touch them, whatever you do. Okay, the big circle, go to the circles. Go and get rid of the... No. Okay, those circles go that to are the around bombs. you guys, those are the ones that go to the bombs. Okay? Remember, don't... Remember, put your back so that you're not going to be pushed back towards those stars. Okay, go and drop those stars off to the left. Separate. Now come back. Be careful. Don't hit any of them. Now people who get the big white circle on them, go over there and get rid of some of them. Is he channeling? Uh, yeah, he's yeah. channeling. Okay, go to the big elemental now. Quick. See how we're getting hurt? Oh, shit. Too late. That's how fast we have to get as soon as that happens. Okay, kill this thing. AOE down the ads, mob, like, uh, if you can. Watch for this, careful. Can you put a skull on the target, please? Um, well, see, that's the whole thing. Like, at this point, we have to, like, kill the, like, the little ads have to be tagged. Um, oh, fuck, get those together. Well, we're almost dead. All right, I'm going to show you what happens here. I'm going to run over one of these uh, stars. You'll see what happens. See how it creates a big circle on the ground? That'll stay for the whole damn fight. Oh, we're a white pig, by the way. Um, yeah, I have a soul stone, so go ahead and die. So, um, basically, that's why we don't want to pop the stars. That's why we want to keep them in one spot. So that even if we do fuck up, then that shit's away from us. You know what I mean? Let's hope that we don't. And um, go from there. Okay, the ads. We gotta be a little quicker, obviously, on the Switch, but that was the first time us doing it. So, be it. That shit happened. Um... So basically when we notice that it's doing that here, let's get Heather here real quick. Get her a flask.
Yeah, I'm sorry I'm late. Minus three and a half DKP. Damn it. My extra loot. Uh, I'll summon you there, Daiko. I think that will be a little more helpful. <laughs> okay, so grab flasks if you need it. it. And do you guys need food? Probably. So here it is. So, um, okay. Again, you saw it. We're all going to group up basically, you know, to the right of purple. And uh, anytime we get the stars, run them over to purple. When you get the white circle around you, the big white circle, don't run away from the group. Run towards the stars. Try to get as many as you can in the in the thing as you can. And when it pops, it'll get rid of all those stars. So that's the idea when you get the big, the big white circle around you, okay? Um, beyond that, it, it looks like then we're gonna have a couple like three times with the stars i think it was or was it two times i'm just trying to think when the ads are going to be coming in but basically as soon as the, he starts when he goes up into the air i guess eh? he goes up into the air as soon as that happens look which way he's channeling but we, we, we should be going to the elemental every time because as you saw he kicks back like a fucker so well, he summoned two he summoned one big guy as well no he summons everything that we don't kill Oh, okay. Yes. All the ads are going to come out at once. That's why, you know, it, not only do we have to kill that one ad, um, but we also have to uh, we have to kill the one ad fast. But I think we have to find the one with the circle around it because I don't think that guy had a circle around him. Did anybody notice that? Didn't see anything. I think the circle's heroic. Is it? Okay, because we were taking damage in that phase <laughs> while he was channeling. Basically, the idea is is that we're going to collapse to the center, hopefully, because as you saw, all the casters are fucked up. They're all over the place. So collapse to the center as much as possible. Try to focus down. The, the casters have very little health, so um, casters, get on the casters. Okay, melee. Try to stay with the melee mob and any uh, and the other mob. That's well, we hopefully got it dead by then. Got the gist. Okay, to the left. Try not to hit them, guys. I bet just when he gets to 100 energy, he flies up. That's much what it is. And when he puts those things out, he sucks them in, eh? Did you notice that? So that's how he gets his powers. Why is he channeling? Okay, he's channeling. To right. right. Go, go. See that circle around him? It is, there is a circle around him. Well, that sucks to heal. Are we supposed to go somewhere there? Because it okay. just fucking murders you. Yes, we're supposed to go to the ad that's got the circle, and we're always going to the guy, the big guy. Well, do you get in that thing while he's charging up? Because that yes. AOE yeah. just like, killed me. But you get if you get in the circle, you won't get hit by the AOE. Oh, no, I'm still hitting uh, the circle. Okay. Oh, what well, okay. Uh, I knew there was something that was wrong then. Apparently the circle is not important. The circle is what? Am I wrong? Because I was local. Local said it still hits you. Yeah, I was still taking a show of damage inside the circle. Maybe it's reduced by 10%? I don't know. You could try it. I swear, okay, well, the video I watched said that it did that, but I could be wrong. Uh, it's uh, Hazel, Hazel Nutty's video is the one I'm referring to. Not that she's the greatest source, but... 
Anybody getting Resigus? No? Alright. Yeah, inside the circle it just reduces damage taken by 50%. So being inside the circle does help. Low cult? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. 50% less damage equals yes. Yeah, sorry. Just making sure. Anyways, um, thank you for looking that up. So yeah, if we can get quickly over to that circle, maybe I'll throw up portal so we can just teleport over quick. Not maybe. I am going to. <laughs> but that's the rinse and repeat of the fight, by the way. We've seen the whole fight. It's the ads, you get the ads down, it's back to the boss, boss does his things again, then it's the ads, and then it's the- I'm boss. just not fast enough to get over to that guy, I mean, I, and then yeah, you can't stop and heal, talk. it's crazy. Yeah, and there's a lot of damage going out. I mean, I tried to stop and throw out a group, you know, a, a, one of my cooldowns. But I was dead by the time I stopped casting. There's got to be a trick to this, because there's yeah. no way that any normal raid can get through that normally, or regular, you know, anyway. Yeah, well, we just haven't figured it out yet. That's all. We will. I mean, the fight does seem pretty easy, somewhat. I think I was out of range of that res. Thanks. When the ad channels the beam on us, do you want us to um, just stand there and take it and get healed? No, I'm doing. Doesn't it. seem like it doesn't this. seem like we can outrun it. Well, I could do this to get us over there quicker, right? Yeah, but that wasn't what I was talking about. That was. Like or do you, when we okay, get over there, think... there's an ad that uh, channels a red beam on somebody. He targeted me last time, and it hurts. But um, I'm yeah, not fast enough. From it. Yeah, I'm not fast enough to run from it. I doubt anybody else is either. So, so you want us to just stand here and take it? We should turn and attack a mob, though. Like we could start. We could. St if, would it be better for the healers if we just stood and you guys healed the shit out of us at that point, or going to try and get to the fifty percent? Here. I don't know if it's possible to. No, uh, maybe it is. Like, so, if we throw down a circle and heal the shit out of ourselves. Like, the strat is, is in theory, to go and kill one of the ads first before. I think oh. it, we have to go get the ad, and I think we have to use that damage reduction to get it. Well, you know what we could do is go to uh, this one. This one's closer. We can choose which? Yeah. We don't have to choose. We don't have to kill the big dude 
Okay. We could pick the fucking casters and go to them quick. Or what we what a lot of people I think have been doing is going to this guy. But the problem is is that we've been putting I could put we could change where we put the things, right? We can go to him, get rid of him, and put purple. Because purple doesn't matter as long as it's just a fucking out of the way, right? And put it over here. You know what I mean? So put um, all the purple, put all the stars over there, and then that, teleport to the left. That put to the left. Okay. To, to get to that guy. I'm thinking about the knockback. The big old golem makes the knockback happen, right? Yes. So he'll be coming from behind us and knock us away from the stars, which we good, right? That's right. the idea. Okay. If we put them over by purple, and we fight by by like if we start if we go to the the guardian, okay. So stand here during the fight. Drop the stars to the right of us, okay. Um, and then when it comes to the uh, when he goes into the air, when he gets the full energy, we all come over here and go over to this. Go over to the guardian atoma, kill the guardian atoma, and then the other mobs will come to us. And the trick is, is at that point we should be concentrating, well, heavily concentrating on the big dude. Because of his knockback, the acquisitions Atoma, and also somehow be getting the casters at the same time, which could be AOE, because they'll be grouped up on us. Trick being is, is that one dude's going to be targeted, and that guy has got to run away from the big guy. But try to keep it close to us at the same time. There's that being said. So what do you think? Does that seem like a doable thing? Let's try it. Nature what protection? Sure. We're, dro we're dropping little <laughs> star things over on purple. Yeah. And then heading to the left to kill that. Uh, yes. Guardian. To kill the guardian Atoma first. That's the plan. Five, four. Mostly because three, he's closest. Two, one. <laughs> Also, don't stand on those rings. To the right. Start. Woo. I guess you have to keep running so that they don't immediately put the yellow down. Right. Okay, get ready to teleport, so just come over here. Well, we're gonna get moats right away, too, so be, be aware. Run for the circle if you're not dropping something. Okay, run, run, run. Where... Oh, if he ran oh, we didn't get him, eh? Okay. Oh, did I run to the wrong one? I did too, dude. I didn't realize that it Watch, changed. if you got the red line, watch out! I don't think you can outrun it. I think you basically just have to stand with the group and... Um, it can be slow, though. Down. I've got ice chains okay. on it. that helps. Big guy, come on. Defensive. Holy shit, I'm stuck. Oh, Ten never mind. Points. <laughs> and then I died right on the gold. I got knocked into that corner over there. It's weird. You got a res? Yeah. 
We would need to res him. Oh, there he goes. Could've got all three of them. I should've moved, my bad. It's good to put him in like a triangular pattern, cause one bomb can take out three of them instead of trying to put them all in one. Okay, get to the guy now. Oh, it's uh, these guys. Uh, whatever. It's the get here. Where is here? A uh, fucking the same right, corner. Right same left. corner is where are we going? We're gonna always come to the same corner because it's closer. Red line guy coming. Red line guy first, the elemental dude. Did you get away? Actually, a knockback doesn't hurt. thinking is as well we should always tank a probably near a corner of some sort and then that way we don't have far to go you know what I mean when it comes close to 100 percent yeah like maybe Clint take him close to that dude because we're gonna be wanting to go to him anyways right as long as the um, runners don't have too far to go for the um, stars well it's behind us mostly Defensive. Outside of the nuke phase, it's not that hard to heal. We do have a we do have a battle res, by the way. Got him. Nuke phase. Okay, get to the good dude in the corner up here, the elemental dude. Supposed to be able to get them before that ends. Yeah, that's the plan. Want to? The idea is to get. He rid was of at ninety-five percent. No, he was not. He was better than that. But oh no! You gotta get out of that. Two elementals. We did. Yeah, we did. It's random. So, the, whatever's in the, the images is what you get. Okay, um. I think we should just call white because of where, how many people are dead. Okay. So let's go stand in the bad shit. I don't have. I got a. Uh, I'll put down a grazer. And he has a berserk, seriously? Yeah, 45 seconds away from Berserk. But I'm seeing this evolving in a certain way. Like, we can tank him next to one of the alcoves, right? And then we can drop our stars behind us, wherever that is, okay? So, like, if we start the fight, if you just pay 
watch where I'm going here. If we start the fight and we tank the boss, say, here, where X is, and we drop all of our stars, say, back here during that time, okay? Then we'll fight the boss here. Then when it transitions, we just got to go a couple steps. And whatever mob happens to be at uh, here, where the moon is, which happens to be the guardian spirit right now, We'll go to there immediately first. Then when the second one, then during, so then we got stars and bullshit that may get left behind behind us there. Then, for the when we're done that phase, we'll move over to the next a clove, uh, uh, a clove, and tank here. And then we'll drop our stars, you know, over where orange is, so they're still away from the group, right? And if we pop some of them, so be it, whatever, but they're still away from us. Um, and then that way, we've got the boss there, we can control it, and then the ad is right there so we can get into the protection circle. And then for the third time, we'll go over to the other side. Does that make any sense? Is that overcomplicating it? Um. I think you get three of the four alcoves will be active, and we just need to pick one and i think we can stay in it as long as it's got an ad in there right and what i'm saying is is that that's where we should tank the boss right at the start is by that a clove it, like just start in one just start tanking there because by the time it, he goes into the air it doesn't fucking matter we'll be right there and we can switch to the mob we'll have more uptime on the on the ball on the on the ad right because we'll be right there fuck the boss goes in the air we'll just switch People who are dropping the stars will be dropping them back out around the corner, so they're really not a problem. So every time we fight the boss, we'll fight it in an eight clove. I guess one tank will always be targeted by deconstructing energy, so you can clear the moats that way too. Yeah, that's our tank swap. So does that make sense? That take. I mean, that way you don't have to run. We could just tank it there. It doesn't seem to matter being tanked anywhere else. He doesn't have to be tanked in the center. That's my point. Sounds good to me. Anyways, that's my strat. I mean, you disagree, please. Uh, so I'm the, in the alcove boss here. is still attackable when it casts uh, synthesize. So you can cleave to the boss. Not in range of that res. Am I gold on? Thanks, Jerry. So you said we're dropping the little star things behind the group. Yeah, right. like what I was saying, you see where yellow is? Uh -huh. Like what we're going to do is we're going to stand where Moon is, okay? And that's where we're going to fight the boss. He's going he's to come over to us there. We're going to fight there. And then when he transitions, we'll be right at the mob so we can switch easily to the mob. And anybody who gets stars is going to run them out to here. If we get rid of them, fine. If we don't, they're still out of our way, so it doesn't matter. You know what yeah. I mean? So the idea is just to get to here as close as you can. So the stars are away from the group, and the rest of the group will be on Moon. And then on the second time, the mo the, gr the group's going to be on X. Okay? And then that's where we're going to take the bosses, on X. And, you know, and then we'll drop the stars on Orange. You get to see where I'm going on that? Don't, so we, cycle, don't we cycle through these guys again? Uh, we're cycling, yeah, it'll cycle every time. So I don't care no, what I mean, mob is there. I have to go back to this alcove. Well, no, they'll come to us. Like, fact is, is whatever mob we're fighting and killing at that time, the other two will come to us, regardless. The question is, are we going to need to, is the fight long enough where we're going to need to use more than four alcoves? Oh, I don't know. We're going to have to see. I think he enrages before that, so. I think three, okay, personally, dope. but we'll see. Hanumi, you ready? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. So we're standing over here, or where are we? We're standing right over here, closest moon. to Moon. Five, 
Uh, I get cut aggro. Cracks. Okay, moats, go to the side. Wrong side. Toned boss. As in towards the door, that's what I meant. Towards the door, and then on the next one, we'll go away from the door. All right, he's about to do synthesize in nine seconds. Defensive. Three seconds. Now. See? We well, still came. What the fuck? No, we we did a kill in the time. Oh, we didn't. Okay, I thought we did. If you stun the um, degenerate, they stop casting it. yourself to a back to a wall you're fine you don't take any damage from the knockback clear up the casters casters um, <clears throat> should as whenever we do get the ads we might as well um, ah, move the ads onto the boss while he's casting because it can cleave move the boss closer to X please over here over here <laughs> Okay, and keep dropping the fucking stars towards the door. It makes it easy for you guys to remember that. Let's just do that. Okay, he's gonna go in transition soon. On the small. So when they when they cat when they spawn, we should go to the middle and cleave on the boss. See, we got that at. So where are we going to next? Right here. Kill the big guy. Watch, push back. Get those ads. Take it towards the third corner, maybe. Well, we got stars up now. Okay, now we can probably move. Ah, sorry, Soul Driver. Purple or the blank one? The blank corner. There, towards where you're running. Defensive. Drop stars towards your right. Right. Well. Yeah, no. no. I would go no, towards, the back. towards the back of the room. Back of the room, everybody. Oh, 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 worms are. I know. 
Yeah. When that pushback happens, put your back to a wall. Oh, we're gonna pull a boss soon. I don't know how that happened. Berserk in uh, 242. Huge red laser ads. They can be stunned. Big enough back. to the back of the room. Okay. Uh, blow bloodlust now. Watch pushback. The alcove seems to be a safe spot that always ain't that. Yeah. Yeah, if we keep our backs to the wall there, we're good. 15%. Ah. If he starts casting an ad, we just need to ignore it and deal with that boss. 6%. At this rate, we should be getting him. 4 Three, two, one, and dead. Woo! Good job, y'all. I thought we could get this boss. There's a mount, by the way, on him. Boop, boop, boop. Schematic for the mount. Uh, it's a companion, oh, cool. actually. I got a tier piece. Coming for soul. Congrats on the tier. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, rolling for that Rats ring. Plague. Let's for roll that. Good haste on that. Anyone else? That's a good Looks ring. Like soul. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Okay, so how'd you guys like that fight? It wasn't so bad, right? Once we figured out fighting in the corners, fighting in the corners helped, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I was right. Like, oh, sorry, I'm proud of myself right now because I was thinking switching to the mobs was the key. Hey, he's our friend now. That's awesome. Yeah, it's weird. Anyways, um, Can oh, there's a tunnel over Coca here, Coca guys. There's a there's a mount over here, or um, another one. Not a mount, a uh, fucking tele- like oh. a flight point. Yeah. I want to control him out in the world. Oh, and it takes us back. So we gotta go back. We gotta go to Ephemeral Plains Alpha. So, meet you there. Where is this mount at? Yeah, where is the mount at? It's not a mount, it's a flight path. It's well, a no, flight no, no. path. But we Did get you off say the there's boss. a schematic though? Yeah, there was a schematic off the boss. Oh, I don't think everyone got it then. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't get it. Just saying. The uh, stabilized it's not, it's geomental. Not, it's not. Yeah, no. It's not a what? Not a hundred percent drop. Oh, okay, then I'm lucky.
What does it look uh, like? Hey, so we, are we taking the teleport to? Uh, the far Bottom. side. Like right? The, we, if, we call right? The plains. General plains Alpha? Yeah, I think that's it. Well, congrats to everybody on that fight. That was well done. So, again, we know this fight. It's not, you know, too, too hard. The big trick is, is during the transition phases to stay ahead of him. Uh, always. This is like as much as possible. When we land, can we take a quick break? Sure. I'm going to need a summon back, too. Nice, Mount Puri. That looks sweet, dude. All right, I'm going to do a break right here. Thank you. Yeah, you bet, man. There we go, guys. but it's really fucking annoying.
Why are we at... Oh, I see. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, welcome back. I need to summon back. Okay. I assume everybody who's not here needs a summon. I'm ready. I just didn't click. Okay, here come the mobs. How come? Did Az get the summon? No. Can we get someone to click this for me, please? Corbin? Anyone? So you can in combat, can I? No. No. Okay, fuck it. Sorry, Az. We'll get you here soon. So on the upcoming boss, remember, please help bounce the balls. Uh, we're going to spread out evenly all around. Healers, please coordinate your standing positions so that there's nobody is left alone. Don't be left behind, people. sees him walking like that before that's cool look at his big balls that's the noise his balls clanging together yes these guys got balls all right was these guys tied health or something or no <laughs> no you claim they were and they're not you lied they put shields up that need dispelled.
like the shield has up right now. Yeah, I used it prematurely. I hear that could be a problem. Yes. More than 50% of men. It's pretty cool they could be mined. Okay, do people need food or what's the deal there? I can figure that out, I guess. Some of us, yes. Two people needed food, so tough luck for the two people. That would be Soul Striver and Daiko. Sorry. You're fine. Sorry. Sorry, eh? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, eh? Alrighty. Eh? So, like, uh, we gotta kick this guy in its doofus, and uh, he's gotta be like, you know, hurting and shit. So, uh, you have spread out, spread out, and a boot. <laughs> Make sure to get all the way around, and if you're too close to somebody, don't be. And if you see a ball that fucking spawns behind you, because enough of the Canadian accent, uh, stand between, like, try to keep the ball bouncing back into the white circle that it comes from, because it slows it down. So if you can stand somewhat close to that thing and just, like, you know, take it in the back. You think take it in the back? Oh Hello. my. But you get the gist. If, wait, wait, You'll if, get if, something so, other than a gist. Oh. If you take it in the back. Yep, 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 yep. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, now I'm ready. Oh. Never did this. And we leave Bloodlust to the very, very, very end, okay? Third phase. Because it's do or die time in third phase. Defensive. Break that shield. Bounce that balls. I think she should be down by now. To us. He's on the Run. move. Get ahead of him. There's that druid roar and everything is easy now. Except for Crims. Where is Crims? Alright, remember, we gotta be putting damage into him here now, too. So, there's gonna be a big pushback right now. So make sure you're not, your back's not to, like, anything but wall. Because yes, you could get knocked off the edge. What edge? There's oh. an edge on the right hand side. I got knocked off last time, that's why I say it. A lot of people did. Yeah, another pushback right now, make sure you're back to do something. Healing feet. Okay, 
Okay, spread out. Use rally pride to pop it, Pete. Missiles in five. I'm bringing up crims. Defensive. Oh shit, crims, don't come now. Okay, now come. Okay, get ready to do a big damage. Get that shield down. Starts moving at 48% if anybody's curious. Keep, keep bouncing those balls. Okay, you should be moving soon. Get ahead of him. Okay, this is a bridge. That, this is important on the knockback. Don't be on the side of him. Definitely be either right in front of him or right behind him. Because the what knockback will fuck you up. Spread. One more knockback. Here it comes. Oh my god, it knocked me off the edge. The, the ones! Operator error. <laughs> Dumb -dum. Fuck. So fucking stupid, and I'm the one telling you guys to watch out. Rally and cry to bring everyone up. When did we last? You said third phase? Or you set? Not yet. Eternity. Wait till he does his. Right. Did he do his pushback yet? Yeah, he yes. did his little stomping thing. Okay, yeah. go. Get him. Blood us. Go. Two this is it. Remember the balls. Can we res Puri? <laughs> no, they just res me. Fuck. Impy's gonna need monster heals. It actually was long enough that it dropped off, but now here comes the second stack again. Defensive. Dropped off again. Defensive. A lot of balls. Yep. Defensive. I guess it's be almost unsustainable. Ball's about to get him. Don't 
Don't let any balls hit him, guys. That's the key. Oh, shit. Too low on health to get these balls. Thanks. Defensive. Dude, can you get that ball? Thank you. Oh my god, two balls are about to hit. Yeah, seven percent. We're almost dead. Six percent. That was a pretty fucking good try. The first try. Defensive. As you can see, if we could get more DPS in on him on the transition phases, he'd be lower, obviously. And this part would be easier. That's Now, the trick being how to do that, well, everybody's going to have to figure that out for themselves. Um, but that's it. You've seen the whole fight. Is it a long run? Not terribly long. The beginning, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's really at the beginning. You teleport to the fucking right, or down. My pet died too. Watch out for that. And if we kill this guy, you do get a map. Well, there's access to a, a pattern. It's actually in the second room. But you can't get access to it until the boss is dead. But you will, if you have the schematic thing. So, the big pushback during the transition phase is from the giant round circle. Yes. So it should I hate the giant there. ram circle. It puts actually, if you'll notice as we're doing the transition, uh, when you come to this big the big circle, it'll put a, a bigger circle around it. And if you're inside of that, when it fucking blows, it's going to be death. But um, idea being is, is that what is I believe Lokalt is inferring is that uh, the pushback is based off of the positioning of that ball. If I'm correct. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. There's a sphere and then a big brown circle. The circle has an inner circle that expands until it becomes a big circle and then explodes. So yeah, just not be just being in front of the buff is not guarantee you're not gonna get knocked back or knocked off of Pareto. Because if you're at an angle from that circle, it's gonna shoot you at that angle. That mount matches your transmog, Fury. Yeah, like it's golden. Everything happens for a reason. I'm not Gold. actually Gold! He's Goldfinger. Alright, remember to use your next ma flask if you haven't yet. Otherwise, good work on that boss, guys. Like, you know, that's better than we did even last week. Is this another tier boss? Yep. Alright, everybody, spread out. See, all I'm really aiming for is more DPS at stake. That's all that's really necessary. And I lost how to turn on and off details, so I can't even look at mine anymore, so... It's just that sad. How well was my DPS that last time? Probably shitty, because I was concentrating about other things and I died. 4K. 4K, nice. It's like huge. Alright, I'm not going to be calling out the pushbacks anymore on the bridge. It's up to you guys to figure it out. I right, just did it that first time just so everybody was clued in.
Who's in range of soul? Which healer is in range of soul driver? Uh, not me. Not me. Well, get ahead of the boss. Need help on the uh, left side. How's the guys going with balls? Anybody need help? Yeah, need it on this other side. Le um, if, you're, if he's facing this way, left side. Is it bad to touch me during this part? Yes. Well, it's bad to touch him, Gary. Yes, right bad now. to touch him. They do a little bit of damage every time you do. No, who, who are you asking about touching? When he sucks you in. Defensive. The boss? Yeah. Defensive. He does an AoE underneath him that uh, does damage to you. Yeah, don't stand underneath him. That's bad news. Defensive. Need help. Defensive. He should be moving soon. He is. Greedy teals. Pick up Fury then, after we finish moving. Ah, oh, we lost Grims too. It's gonna take a sec, is Ben okay for a sec? Mm-hmm. 
Corbin, you don't have to hit him like you're kicking, you just touch him in any direction. Don't go backwards. I'm gonna stay in one position right here. people on this other side Defensive. right side the way he's facing we're out of crud we start with health Five percent. Three percent. One percent. Should have moved. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. That was great. No, and Umi got in, got it before I did. I was like, oh well, shit. Well, shit. I guess we are gonna do Anduin tonight then. <laughs> I seriously think we should go see Anduin. Just saying. By the way, first, sure. that, you guys should get that mount. You want the mount? How do you like do that? that? Come back a room. Everybody who okay. can get amounts, come with me. Well, that was two item level upgrade. Nice. Where do we go? Genix's cradle beta? Uh, for the mount, follow me. Oh, Domination's Grasp? No, where's the next thing? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, I think it's Domination's Grasp. Is there? Yeah, it's just a teleport, okay. Okay, it's in this room, and it's, if I'm correct, right here in the corner, hiding. Did you guys get it? Valid target. Oh, I think only one person got it. Did somebody get it? Sandy Warp got it. No. Crim? Did anybody get it? Because it's supposed to spawn for everybody. Oh, it's by me. Uh, Where? Other side. Other side. Okay, sorry. Okay, I was in the wrong spot. But a uh, sort of wrong spot. What was that, though? I'm not sure. I think it was a group shot. Shit. Oh my god, I'm missing RP? Uh What do you have to do to be able to get that schematic? Uh, gotta open up Poco. Uh, third row, second down. And you'll be able to make metal. Oh. Pretty much gotta do a bunch of the campaign and upgrade that Poco guy. Oh, well. <laughs> well, you have to, I mean, putting the points in the first, it's like Cypher the first one stuff, you want to do it. Because it upgrades your shit. Where am I flying to? Or you could just not care. 
is that yeah, will I guess. Where are we flying to? Stronger. Anybody? We must Anyone? Help him break free. Domination's grasp. Fail again. It's in the center. Gotcha. And he's right here, so we don't have any trash. Excellent. Anyways, congrats to everybody on that mount. Got it. <laughs> Crystal Sniffer. <laughs> Crystal Sniffer. It's a bad name. It really is a bad name. Would you want to be known as a Crystal Sniffer? Um, no. There are quite a lot of crystal sniffers in this world. Uh, I guess. Cocaine? Yeah, no, I, I get it. Crystal meth. Cocaine. Yeah, I don't sniff that. I inject it. It's much, much faster high. All right, I'm not going to tell you guys shit about this fight. I've watched Just enough videos. Just get ready to get wrecked. That it's oh, gonna be really fucking crazy. Okay, that's all I'm hey. gonna tell you. I'm not even putting out food. Okay, we're like fuck that. <laughs> Should we just do it once then explain it? Well, let's just like we got ten minutes to the end of it. Oh no, wait. We got. Oh no, we got a whole hour. We have an hour, dude. Okay, let's fucking just do it once for fun. Is not everybody's here though. Let's do it one just YOLO and then we'll explain it. Because there's a shitload to explain. Or actually, you know what I'll make you do? Watch the video. Because it's way easier. Can we do it once, then watch the video? Yes. Okay. I want to do it once first, just so you guys can see how crazy it is. There's like... Ugh, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to tell you yet. Where's Quill? It's going to be like Generals in Gaston Athria, where we kill it on the first try. That would be awesome. Welcome, Quill. I need to get my 291 legendary. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, they're pretty easy to get. If you got 2,000 flux, and then the auction, you just go to the auction house for the piece and buy it. How about you make me the pair of pants, Dick? I could. I've even got the mats, but you know. Only if you say please and ask nicely. No, dude. Nope. Maybe Numbers. I should ask for money for that shit, man. I there don't you know. go. We'll see. Talk to me later. I can make it though. I have the mats. I even have the upgrade piece. I made it by mistake. Well, even better. You got extra. Yeah, I got one that's just sitting in my bag, honest to God. On the left, also. I've already got my 291s for uh, demonology and for uh, destruction. Yeah, bloodlust. Why not, fuck? It's gonna be one of those kind of fights, though. Okay, uh, Tom, if, by the way, the taunt is for you guys to know is if he you start taking too much of his debuff, taunt and it'll reset and goes to the next guy. And he'll start again at one. That's just to keep the tanks alive a little longer. Don't sit in the black circle, it does a health uh, a heal soak. No, we actually have to stand in it. Wait, who's standing heal. Why? So you can reduce Move to your it. opposite. Move to your opposite. Oh. Stand with your opposite. We know what our opposite is. Well, <laughs> yellow stand with purple in this situation. Otherwise, boom, ow. How do you know what your opposite? You got a marker yeah, above your head. Either yellow. Yeah, or but how do I know what? I try to. Oh, use but there was also I circles. Cycles. Oh, I get it. And here's the cycles. Fun. Here's the Don't fun release. Part. If two of the circles join yeah, together, yeah. okay, um, of the same color, you go boom. <laughs> so two of the same color cannot get close to each other, or you go boom. Did I hear that we need people to stand inside the black circle to heal it away so it doesn't explode? At least make it smaller, even if we release it it's fast to get back here. I mean, yeah. It's just one teleport. Because at the end of it, it did explode for damage. I wasn't sure if the damage, if it goes away completely, if we avoid it, or if we just reduce the amount of damage on the explosion. Okay. Do you guys want to watch a video? I want you to summon me back, quick. Yeah, I can summon you back. You're not even gone yet. Yeah, you want to stand in the befoul barrier to make it easier for healers to get rid of it. 
about y'all while I gotta get ready and go to sleep, so. Well, at least you, see you, you got to see the craziness. This fight's hey, gonna be nice. Hey, we got two new kills now, so that's pretty good. That's super good, man. Thanks for being here. Well, we got seven of them now. Seven now. I, just... I believe seven, yeah. Let's get good luck on this one. I'll study it. Yeah, it's a fucking crazy fight. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I think I really want to post a video because there's that much to explain. So give me two seconds. Unless someone's quicker than me. So what's a new mount? I know it's not the spider. The mount that just dropped is I'll show you. You oh, have to craft you have to craft it. It was just the recipe. It's a crystal sniffer. Go to your mount your mounts and then just type crystal sniffer and you'll see it. Anyways, um I got a video once. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna do well, it's a seven minute video. Just go and watch it, please. There's a lot to explain. Go on on pause while I watch the video.
downstairs. Uh, be, I say downstairs as in when he casts that black semicircle, get into it. Okay, group three and four. It's melee heavy. Well, sort of. Not really. But anyways, um, I was trying to make it melee heavy, but there really isn't that much melee. Uh, I could put Sandy Warped in that group, I guess. Because basically I'm thinking because there's a bunch of little ads that could be cleaved. Do you think that Sanity Warp would be better than Doodoo Head? Anyone? Yes. The video did say to evenly split the groups up with both melee and ranged. True. And that's what I've done so far. Okay, we'll leave it as is. Um, I can't. I want it over heavy on the healing because I want those things that need to be healed to be healed. You know what I mean? Down there, because anything that helps get the uh, his what's it called, uh, hope or whatever the fuck it's called, up is the best. Willpower. Willpower. Thank you. I need a summon. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, here we go. Summoning. So, do you get the gist of what I'm talking about? Like, after watching the video and all that shit? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, if you can help in the summon, and I'll throw down some food. Sorry to make you guys watch a video, but you saw how complex that okay. fight is, so it just made better sense. Instead of me talking at end and you guys going into another world or blah blah, you know what I mean? Like, It's a lot. Like, it's a lot. That's why I was like straight up about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, even in that video, ready to check Paul's video right at the start, he said, you know, this is like an end boss, but it isn't. But it, it is an end boss game. Like, they've made Because it, it was for the first week, I guess. And it's and we got to give him some respect. I mean, there's guilds that just skip the jailer altogether, go pass this to heroic because he doesn't drop any tier gear or anything. Oh, they don't even do the jailer. Nope. Oh, funny. You can't skip this guy. No, they skip the they jailer go and straight. go to heroic. Yeah, they just go straight to heroic. Oh, I see. Open your ears. I get you now. No, I misunderstood. That's all. Anyways, is it because I didn't put A at the end? Would that have helped? It's got a nice. I was, I was practicing clear. that for this past week. It's really clear. How was that? Did you enjoy Toronto? Fucking cold. I mean, I'm pretty sure they don't believe in sun like, unless it's like once a week. Five, Whoa, four, once a week, easy then. Three, two, one. If your ends here. A L E N. Watch that cast of Hopebreaker, and then don't stand in its way. And everybody get into the black circle. Yeah, circle. when it casts. Here it is. Get in. It's gonna shrink, so keep stepping in. Spread. Not spread. Okay, yellows stay in the spot. Oh, purples go to yellow. Yellows don't move. So come to me. Move, Saul. Big chicken. Green's going down. Go ahead, go down. Three, four, go. Two missed it. Yeah, I was doing that. For... So we need two healers up here, right? No, I, I missed. I hit the star that the boomerang thing. Right. I, How's I, it, I, how was downstairs? Downstairs is fine. We had a couple people miss making it down. Like, do we have to get all four of those healed up while we're down there? I think so. as much as possible. We need as to get a combination of the big guy and then six others. So three and three or two and four. Kill some, heal some. The big guy didn't die, there wasn't enough DPS. What the big guy has to do, and then you gotta do a combination of six for the other. Because I think I got three out of the four guys down there. So 
if you have the yellow star, you don't move anywhere, correct? Yeah, yellow star, you just stay in space. Space? You stay in place. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yellows don't move, purples come to yellow. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Go to the moon. Moonkin. Well, I was yellow. You were? Yeah, that's why I was standing there. That's weird, because I saw you as kind of a purplish. Uh oh, no, it's yellow. That's why I was like, why am I moving? I thought I was supposed to stand still. I saw you what? as purple, too. Because you were right by me. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> well, I can't explain that. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Was it a yellow diamond on your head or a yellow circle it's, around you? It's a yellow diamond. Or not a diamond, it was a little. Yeah, it was yellow, guys. If it, it's a big yellow circle around you that you stand still. You no, know, talking to, like the circle around your feet, not above your head. I was looking at the They're symbol above my color. head. Yeah, not that. This is pretty funny, actually. Anyways. It's kind of dumb that they put the yellow on the opposite side. Can we change right. that? So you're looking at the thing on your feet, not the yeah. thing on your head? The well, yellow circle stupid. around your feet. That's Otherwise, stupid. you have a black circle above your head, then you go run to a yellow circle on the ground. Wow, Heather, how could you mess that up? Well, no, you, you get you get a circle and you get a, a symbol above your head. And yep, it should be the same yeah. color. Just but they're not. If you're yellow, don't move. <laughs> and, and if you're Heather, well, make your choices. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. You're So three and four are first group. Yes. Uh, that'll be uh, that'll be the, always the group who goes <laughs> down. It'll go down twice. Get in the black circle. Spread. Spread out. Remember, yellows don't move. Stack. Come on, purples, find us. Oh, fuck. No purple found me in time. <laughs> tank. Three and four going. Oh, downstairs tank is not up. Yeah, I just noticed that too. <laughs> Do we jump and reset? Yeah, jump and reset. Do we have res protection? Okay, well, we but it wasn't it. me. It's a quick run back. It's a super quick run back. I didn't fuck it up, so I'm happy. Yep. You did, you did good. <laughs> Whoever was my opposite found me in about two seconds. It's the exact same thing I thought last time, but whatever. <clears throat> this time they were on the but right. Now I notice the circle on the ground. I was just looking at the symbol on the head. Get to the feast. Is it still there? Yep. It's the yeah. alpha, right? Son of a bitch. It's doing a domination something. Oh, it just disappeared. <laughs> put another one down or should I eat food? <clears throat> uh, okay, I'll put another one down. Heather, it's domination's grasp. You know... I'm doing the best I can here, okay? <laughs> so I just heard the, that we need a warlock portal. What for? Winning. Like, to teleport someone? Or someone just... Who's stuck? Heather. Heather's I'm, stuck. I'm almost there. I'm coming. Get lost? No. She just took a the detour. Area. I okay. wanted to look at something. Okay, so wait a minute. Is two healers too much for downstairs? Because we were really getting the shit kicked out of us upstairs. Well, we didn't finish anything, so it's hard to say. Upstairs also has the healing circle that needs to be absorbed, so I think you probably swap a healer upstairs. Yeah, let's do two upstairs. Okay, who do you want? Worm, who wants to stay downstairs? Worms or as? 
I don't care. What kind of okay, mechanics are down there? Worms or stays upstairs. Okay. Um, I'm thinking as is more versatile, like all round heals. So. Damage to. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Your reality ends here. We might, you know, guys, this may take a couple tries, okay? This is one you of those think? kind of bosses. Well, thanks. I mean, thanks, Captain Obvious. Uh, it, Big black circle. Taunt boss. <clears throat> Spread. Stand. AOE or something. Somebody needs to find me. There's a purple is missing. Uh, three and four get into the black shit. And they all made it that time. Switch down. Switch down. Just get away from the boss with that laser. Switch down. Switch down. Get in the black circle. Switch down. Spread. Hang oh, down. It really hurts. Yeah. I can't heal you when you're in that. The fuck? The boss just ran up to me and killed me. I think the snake's dead. Oh, okay. Well, that makes way more sense now. So do I need to get out of that? I, I think if, especially if you're not at full health, um, go ahead and step out. As a recovery tactic. That was interesting. How was downstairs going, by the way? Just fine. Went good, actually. So, too much DPS or just enough? Uh, probably just enough. Okay. It's hard to tell still. It's still too new. No, no, I hear you, but I just need back yeah. reports so we can adjust things I if need be. What sends us back up? Is it just time? I don't know. I think I'm so. really sorry. Because we had downtime where we were, I don't know, maybe like five seconds of doing nothing interesting yeah it's all time based well that tells me too much dps maybe well we'll go with it again no, i'm not gonna pull somebody yet if you have too much time at the end then we could probably pull one right that's what i'm thinking and you'll still have enough probably That would be... I'm not sure if we need more DPS up though. That's the other side of it. What you know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever. The most important mechanic is getting those things down. Yeah, I know exactly. To help the willpower. So. Yeah. What times we go into that phase? Twice. Okay. Well, no, we do that. Yeah, twice per phase one. And per phase, phase one. Yeah. yeah. So we do twice per phase one, and then the we have that add thing pop out of them, and then we have to do we got to do the based on how much willpower we get a buff up to 200% uh, increased damage and healing, and uh, there'll be an add that pops out, which is an old king, and he'll have X Y Z abilities, and we just got to deal with the abilities and kill him. That old king is heartless. Go ahead and taunt him, P. Get in the black circle. Spread out. Spread. Oh. 
Titans. Fuck that one up, Puri. Okay, three and four, get <laughs> ready. Could have been. Four, three and four. Okay, get in the black circle. We're done down here. Spread out. We need to purples heal that. Get to yellows. Purples get to yellows. Not yellow to yellow. Oh. We need to heal this black circle. Someone didn't get on me. Two down. Three more down. Three and four, go. Oh, wow. What happened there? They just fucking died. I don't yeah, think you go down twice in a row. Did you have a diva? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Two different groups right. have to go. Okay, so we'll just... Well, we got them split perfectly, so... Um, the only difference is, is that we'll uh, always leave Worms are up, okay? Um... You should probably always leave Hanumi up because he's oh okay tank heals. It's better that way. Okay. Okay, so I'll, we'll always leave Hanumi up, and uh, we'll switch with Group One and Group Two. It's as simple as that. And they are balanced, so that's why it's good that way. Da da da. Is there anybody that doesn't understand the dark circles versus the yellow circles? Well, the reason you died is because I was dead beforehand, so there wasn't... Oh. Don't trust the DBM marks. Yeah, hey, can you turn those off? Mm. I think the DBM marks is what's confusing people, is because they're opposite or sometimes the same as your debuff. I don't think it's DBM. So if you're left with a mark at the end, like, and there's no match for you, it's, you explode, right? That, yep. that shouldn't happen, because you should have an even amount of each. Yeah, the um, last time, like, some people were dead, so I have a feeling that's why, but someone was in the melee group and exploded us. I had to think it was, uh, the call was... I think it may have been even Hanumi, I don't know, but the call was to get back in the circle to heal it, and then but the uh, mechanic wasn't fixed in terms of matching. Yeah. So matching your thing is more important than getting back into the heal circle. Uh, there's nothing I can edit in DBM. Can we re Just in case I pull him, can we reset it? I want to test his uh, uh, aggro range. One sec, I'm just eating my food. Seems like it's pretty small. Also, there's yeah, I'm no... gonna go to the bottom of the stairs. Everybody get to the bottom of the stairs so he can test his theory. Just get away from the boss. There's really no reason at the opening pool where you're not Your standing pretty close to the boss. Here. Right there. The light has abandoned you. About 10 yards. Okay, so are we still clear on, like, everything seems to be okay, right? And everybody knows what's happening. Hanumi's always staying up. And up to the opening pool, it doesn't hurt to all be, like, stacked on the boss, basically, because the first thing that's going to happen that's important is that circle of healing. Mm-hmm. So we don't have to be really spread far. Oh, Mind you, better. unless you get the laser. Laser! But that doesn't happen right away, does it? Mm. No, it doesn't. Right. So I wish I could get in. 
Yeah, if you can get in now, it's fine. Go ahead and taunt him, V. Alright, spread. spread. It's done. AOE incoming. Black circle. Spread. spread out. We're done. Just get the black circle at. Snake. Keep getting the circle. Still up. Exploded. Didn't get the circle fast enough. Right here. Heal Peary. Okay, group one and two. Go. Group one and two. Except for, you know, you know. Black circle. All the stars during this is terrible. Tool what happened? No, died. Our tank died. Yeah, I mean. You have to heal a circle, but you also have to run out for those stars and boomerangs. You don't have to run out for the boomerang, you just have to make sure it's not pointed at anybody. We also, including yourself, you have to dodge out of the way, so if you're right yeah, next you to him, you yeah. can't get out of the way in time. Yeah, you need enough space, yeah, I see. The light has abandoned you. We'll get it. We always do. Except Chaina. Shh. Shh. Except this one time. This is one time. Okay. So all the domination gear is all obsolete, right? Yep. Yep. Bender, the, the gems are done. Throw the gems on the ground. Yeah. Are they active in Torghast still? Yeah, but your other gear is probably better. Yeah, your other gear will probably outdo it for stats. Plus, actually, you'll need that higher gear because that last level of Torghast level four is crazy hard. Have you finished it yet, Snick? No. I tried soloing it a couple times. It's fucking brutal. No, we need to get a healer up. Yeah. And plan a time, stuff like that. Yeah. It's hard on my schedule, though, so. So be it. Anyways, we're, you know, we are making progress here, guys. We did get a little further with a lot of people up, but. Then, you know, then shit happened. So let's make less shit happening and more rah rah yay. Kill boss. We've had a great night. We're going all the way, right? That's what I heard earlier. AOE incoming. Go ahead and taunt him, Fee. Spread. It's done. AOE incoming. Switch down. Shot 
three, four. Three, four. Black circle. Switch down. Spread. Gotta spread, fuck. One and two, one and two. Taunt boss. Fury's gonna need big heals. Taunt boss. Step outside the black circle if, it, if you need it. I'm yeah. silenced. Taunt boss. And I'm yeah, that's what I've been doing, Fury. Yeah, dude. Stand like on the edge of the circle and keep moving in with it. I can't. Fuck. Hey, yeah, downstairs did okay. Rough. We did okay downstairs though, oh. didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How'd that reset? Oh, uh, because they failed yeah, upstairs. Okay. Well, that's improvement though, in a, in a way. I don't, you know, I don't know what happened upstairs, but downstairs, you know, we did okay. So that means we're, you know, that's a whole phase, right? Because I know whatever happened upstairs can be fixed. What did happen upstairs? I don't know. Our healer died. Anumi? Yeah, I got hit by two stars. Avoidable shit? Yeah. I mean, presuming that I know where they're coming from when somebody is running around or... Is there a set, set place you're supposed to put them? No. Because they come up, when they happen, they happen to a random member in the raid. And I mean, we, we could try and stage ourselves to always be on one side of the boss and then have the star people. And they have been a quick succession back to back. So if you do all the same position, they'll be hitting each other. Yeah. I mean, they've basically, you just got to be aware that they're happening and I guess watch it's, out. But... It's tough in melee to see where those chrome arrows are going and well hopefully. okay what about this what if i just say both of them go to sort of like stand roughly in the yellowish area okay and then that way melee if they're on the other side you're fine does that make sense well there's three of them so i guess make a okay, okay. If that's, yellowish if yellow area is, yeah and then everybody stands on the opposite side of the boss from that melee wise they should be safe ish ish okay sure just a thought At least they didn't make Ando a pussy. I mean, he's worth it, character-wise. I mean, he's being mind-controlled, so really. Five, four, three, two. Your reality ends here. Aoe incoming. Three and four, go. Okay, try to go to yellow. Watch out for the boomerang. Okay, 
black circle upstairs. We're gonna have to spread out. Spread. Switch down. It's down. Switch down. Watch out. AOE incoming. Go ahead and take it, Infy. <laughs> One and two. <clears throat> ah, silence. Uh, it's two stars. Looks all right. That time was more my fault. I was standing on the boss. Taunt boss. Yeah, sorry. Shit. Fuck. I died again from stars, but that was totally my fault there. Oh, he just transitioned. Hey, new phase. Hey, bloodlust. Might be a little late. Okay, so we're like right there. Yeah. We're on the cusp. I lived. But the light has abandoned you. I got a res coming out to somebody. I don't know who went to. Oh, here it comes. To Crims. Congrats. He can totally res. We should get away from the middle. So, what do we need to change upstairs, or is everything okay? I got silenced by the stars, too. Yeah, gotcha. we really just have to avoid those stars. I got hit by one this time, but it was my own goddamn fault. I got the best deals anywhere! <laughs> it does make a little laser beam between them, and so... Just, uh, be very mindful. Yeah, basically that's it. The laser beam disappears after the cast, though, so just be ready for it to be coming back at you. Don't move into it. Hi, me. I'm awake. Five, four, three, two, one. Your reality ends here. Yeah. AOE incoming. Circle. Spread out. Spread. It's done. AOE incoming. Listen, pair. We have two yellows left. Sure. Four. Whoops. Let's see how it goes with two less TPS. AOE 
Corbett has the boomerang. Group one and two. I have the star. So do I. That is hard to heal. It's still up. It's dead. Something I'm missing. Um, when we go into the shadow phase or whatever, um, there's the one main guy to kill, and then there's like three little guys that are coming right to the Anduin in the center. What the do we more do we with kill? The better it is. So should we try to kill the little house of plus? You try to kill the big guy because that gets you more willpower. Yeah. Okay, so the little guys just ignore him. Well, they should. Right. We should cleave them. They give you five or something willpower, whereas the big ones to the most. Okay. The goal well, is also, to get the big guy. If though. they if they get to the middle, they <clears throat> irate, uh, radiate damage to everyone that's down there. So if you can hit them, get them, cool, but try to concentrate on the big guy. The whole thing with that phase is building up the willpower. So the big guy gives you 20 and the little guys each give you 5. You need about 30 or something, 35. No, it was 50. I don't remember. Yeah, you're supposed to get six of the healers, little guys. That's 30 plus 20 from the big guy, so 50. Yeah. If I combine 100 between the two, then you get 100% buff. Yeah, the better we do in the shadow phases, the better our enrage but or our buff will be right like the more the guys that get healed the more uh shit that we kill blah 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 but the bigger focus is the big guy get them getting the big guy is the important part all right we're good We're making progress, it's just everybody's got to get used to the bits. Five, four, Our little bits. Two. Your reality ends here. A -O -E -O -E. Guys need to pair up. Come on, this guy's good. Purple, move around. Purple's the tank. Three and four, go, go.
Shit, sorry, Cyrus. Circle, 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 circle. We're done. Go ahead and take it, MP. Go right, coming back. One and two. Circle's still there. Yep. Yeah, Come people need close. to stand in it. Darn it. Oops. Is there anything we need to change? Because we keep getting to the same point. That's why I'm asking. I, I'm not sure if the downstairs is actually on a timer because we've come up at different times. I think what happens is the downstairs needs to clear it quickly so they can come back upstairs and help with the black shield. Well, we're, tr we're doing it as fast as we can. L last time we stood around for a bit. Right? On the second... Well, when, when we went down the second time. Well, I found when you, if everybody goes to the center, it seemed to portal you up right away, because we popped up at different times. Okay. So if everybody congregate towards the middle and it teleports you earlier? I could be wrong, but it's what it looked like. Yeah, I think it might be that you have a time limit to get it done, but if you get it done sooner, then there's a little buffer, and then it pulls you up. I don't know if it matters. Yeah, you can stand. Clap, collapse on the mat middle or whatever. So the faster you get done, the sooner you get up. Because I think you need the full complement of our raid to, to quickly deal with that black shield. So if you take too long downstairs, then the upstairs can't clear the shield. That being said, there's not really anything to change, right? No. We're very loose. Not much wiggle room. No, we gotta keep the groups balanced because they both gotta go down. Five, four, three, two, one. Your ends here. A -A -E -E Spread. 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 Until these stars come out. Now we're done. Doesn't seem to matter. We're all standing in the middle. Switch down. Take it in fee. One, one and two.
too I'm gonna peek from the damn circle again. <laughs> move in, move too in. I need a yellow person. We need more people to stand in the circle. That's just blowing up there, right? Eh? Yeah, the black circle blew up that time. As soon as we, we came up, we ch as soon as we came up, we could have stood in it. As soon as that boomerang goes, you can get right back in the circle. Just don't stand in the path. Me, How much of a buff did we get? We will not fail you. Hundred and twenty percent. Yeah. Defensive. All right, one more try. So the second group, whenever we come back up, we need we need to all go into. We the need middle, to go right? straight to the black circle and soak it up. Pretty much always at all times, everybody needs to get in that black circle. And only get out of it if you're dodging the boomerang. I was yeah. missing that when we were coming back up. Yeah, and then you gotta come right back in as soon as you're done dodging the boomerang. And we really need to get that circle soaked before it does the next mechanic where we have to spread out for the different marks. Now, but we, again, we're down there just standing around for a couple seconds. Yeah, I think that's okay. That's just how it's going to be. Here's some food. So we were short with missing two DPS. What if we pulled one DPS from each group that always just stayed up so they can help soak circles? Do you think we'd still have the damage to get through it? That's a hard call. You just to save probably cooldowns. But you want to save cooldowns for the burn phase. Well, this is a I'd like to just three, see three minute plus part. fight. So if you do it at the beginning or do it you know, down below, I mean, you'll probably still make it. No, yeah. So if you're blowing three minutes at the beginning, then, or if you're burning them down below, it's a, you know, I think it'll be all right. I'm a yellow. Three, four. Switch time. Start. Where is a healer? One and two, go. Taunt 
Peter is dead. Sheesh. Trying to heal through that black thing this time. You guys got. There is always two healers, right? Like. Yeah. Do we need to stack up for heals or. I mean. I for the black circle, absolutely, and then it's coordinating the spread for both the star and the yellow circles. That's what's kind of... Yeah, if we can get the healing circle gone by the time the uh, star, not the star, but the uh, yellow circles come out, that's ideal. The yeah, timing's it seems... a little bit different each time. It, you know, it does seem honestly like even for every phase that there's a little bit of black circle left and we have to expand out those of us who are on that phase. But it seems that the other guys teleport back in at that time. So I if they can come and find the bland black circle like. at the time, you know, what I mean, it just seems like we have to just one group gets away while the other group comes and jumps into it. But I'm not I, sure if that's really the answer. I think a lot of it is just everybody managing multiple things <laughs> yeah. themselves. And we're yeah. also oh. learning what the little tricks are. Good night tonight, little guys. Are overall like seriously, you can't look at tonight and say, "Ooh, it was terrible." We got two new bosses down, and we're working on Anduin. And you know, I knew Anduin was going to be a bitch, and now you guys know it. So we'll get there, as we always do. We'll figure it out. So we've been really good this whole week. Double yeah. Legos next week. Exactly, double Lego starting next week. So basically. Um, Thanks for coming out. We'll see you, you know, when we see you. Have a good night, guys. Good night. Later. Good night.